Welcome to our What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2019 series. I'm David and I'll be taking you through assembly delighters. When working with assemblies, it can be easy to accumulate lots of mates. And with the new option to group mates in SOLIDWORKS 2019, users will find it much easier to navigate the mate folder. Now you can group mates by status or separate fasteners. When grouped by status, mates are separated into folders. This assembly has 100 solved mates. Two mates are missing a reference and are grouped in the errors folder. Mates can be edited as usual. In this case, a new reference can be selected and SOLIDWORKS takes care of repairing other mates with the same missing reference. Another folder contains mates that have errors due to over-definition. Suppressing these two mates will eliminate the error and place them in their own folder. Another folder lists mates that reference missing components. And finally, there is a folder for inactive mates that reference fixed components. As you can see, the new group mates option makes it much easier to keep your assemblies organized. Many users prefer to have all their toolbox components fully defined in their assemblies. And you can see the fasteners in this assembly have an underdefined symbol in front of them. An option is available to lock the rotation of all concentric mates with one click. Now all of the fasteners in this assembly are fully defined saving a great deal of time when compared to doing it individually. In SOLIDWORKS 2019, there is now an option to automatically lock the rotation of all new concentric mates to toolbox components upon insertion, saving even more time and keeping your assemblies fully defined and conforming to best practices. Save assembly as a part has also seen some improvements with SOLIDWORKS 2019. With this command, the software treats the assembly as a single component rather than multiple components. This makes the file faster to work with and easier to share whilst protecting intellectual property. The 2019 enhancements to this command enables users to simplify the save part by including or removing components based on user-defined criteria. For example, you might use this feature to remove internal components, small components, or toolbox parts that you want to remove from the model. The feature and save assembly as part use the same premise. However, save assembly as part does not link back to the original model, whereas D feature does. In summary, we can see 2019 make it easier to group mates by status, lock the rotation of toolbox components on addition, and new options for saving assembly as a part. Mm -hmm.